This is in response to Billy's Talking Points memo from Thursday, June 4th, 2015. Is the United States of America unfair to you about money? And I would say, yes, overwhelmingly unfair to an average working person, a minority person, and a poor person. Overwhelmingly unfair. But Billy wants to take it off the charts, wants to diminish it, wants to minimize it, uh, doesn't want to go into any of the things that are hurting from people from, ha from the United States being unfair, just only wants to blame everything on <laughs> that particular person. So he first talks about what uh, Hillary's trying to do to uh, get the minority vote, uh, to get the poor vote. And, uh, and of course, he wants to jump on to Bernie Sanders because Bernie Sanders, according to him, is a socialist. And um, Bernie Sanders does call himself a socialist, but he is very well aware and has said many times that the things that uh, a true socialist would do would be something that could never, ever happen in the United States. But Billy doesn't care about that. He's a socialist. The, the uh, government wants to take over all major industries. Now, um, where do we... Where do we go from here on that? Is that uh, Hillary is going for the white working class person and is going for the minority person. And why is that? Because statistics have shown that we are at an incredible rate of dysfunction in terms of the fact that the rich are getting richer and the poor are getting poor. And it has been astronomically uh, evident uh, and it has been accelerating for the past 35 years or so once Reagan got into office. Uh, but Billy doesn't want to talk about that all. Uh, but he does indicate that uh, the minorities and the working class whites are being misled, that it is dangerous, that uh, it's a dangerous vision that the left is putting out in terms of that that uh, that uh, uh, the, the, that uh, <laughs> you know that the United States is being unfair and in how income is being distributed in, in terms of income distribution in the United States. And of course, he in, uh, there were a number of polls, and he quotes the polls where uh, the vast majority, in almost every instance, minimum wage is it unfair? Should there be changes to that unfairness? Yes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yes, that all of these things are vast majority of the United people in the United States are for. And now Billy indicates he's for the minimum wage. Billy has indicated that, yes, he is for the minimum wage, but he doesn't think that the government should do it and that he'd like to see exactly how much it would be. And, of course, even if it went to $15 an hour, that would only be 30000 a year, possibly $31,000 uh, if they were employed full time and got benefits <laughs> and got vacation time. Uh, but... That still isn't a heck of a lot of money anywhere in the United States. It's, it, it, it's, it's, it's a very nominal amount. And people are only getting to seven twenty five an hour uh, as in terms of what minimum wage is. But Billy calls that a dangerous vision that the left is putting on the right, that uh, the United States is unfair when it comes to money. Now, Billy wants to give you some answers as to why, you know, what's going on. Well, there's no labor, there's no unions, it's all a tech world right now, and you need to change because you can't get a job in the, in the construction industry unless you really know what's going on. And uh, this world is changing from labor-intensive to tech-intensive. Now, of course, there's a lot of truth to that. And our schools should be changing in terms of that, in terms of a technical aspect, in terms of a technical schools, as opposed to uh, what would they used to, used to, used to call that, um, I don't know, whatever. Uh, but, and then Billy says, you have to get an education. Yes, it, it, giving an education, but it is a very, very good thing. And Billy was very, very fortunate that he grew up at a very, very incredible time, that his father was able to, to go to college through the GI Bill, that uh, the uh, minimum wage at that particular point in time uh, uh, um, adjusted for inflation would be much higher than what it is right now. And uh, he was a smart guy, an assertive guy, aggressive guy. Everyone hated him, but... <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, he was able to find jobs even as he was getting kicked off of jobs all the time. He was very intense and he showed that intensity. Uh, he got along with certain people very well. He's done extremely, extremely well. But here's the problem. He thinks just because he did it that everyone else can do it. So what does he want to do? He wants to blame students. He says Asians are doing so much better if we all acted like Asians and everything would be fine. You know, it's a di di diatribe uh, that, and he wants to criticize people because they can't speak English well because they don't speak English at all. Just go to the mall. You can see how, <laughs> you know, you see how that is. That's just such bullshit. You know, it's just incredible the amount of bullshit that he's, he's just throwing out there, you know. And uh, you know, he wants to blame the public schools, um, you know, that, and then, then and, you know, for what it really is, it's 
an and rand diatribe that it's up to you. It's up to you to get an education. It's up to you to figure it out. It's up to you to do this. Up to you to do that. Has nothing to do has nothing to do with the fact that if you are in an inner city school and your um, schools do not have enough money to provide the type of education that is available to the white kids in the outside of the inner city, uh, then nothing in there about that, that you might need to get a little bit better help, that you might need to get some additional education, that college, maybe the first two years of college should be free for you, uh, that, uh, uh, you know, a whole host of things. That remember, Pell Grants are going down. And um, the only thing that if you ever declare bankruptcy on, the only thing that will follow you for the rest of your life is your student loan. You know, who wrote that bill in and who's advocating for that? Is Billy advocating for that? All right. It doesn't have anything to do, you know, with the fact that if you grow up in a poor area of the country, that you may not get as good an education as someone else. Uh, it has nothing to do with the fact that if you do not graduate from college and you opt to join into the military, that a tremendous number of military people who, um, through no fault of their own, cannot really make ends meet and have had to go to uh, <laughs> those uh, quick loans places that are just uh, gr sprouting all over um, military bases. I realized the Consumer P P Protection Bureau is trying to alleviate that. I believe they have written some laws regarding that. But that was something that no Republican ever wanted to get involved in. So there's a lot of things that are just stacked against a lot of people about how they can get ahead. But Billy says, no, it's just you. You, you, you. You got to figure it out. You got to do it. No one's going to help you. Look at me. Look at me. I'm a great success. You know, and I like to say, I'm just an average schmo. I'm a nobody. You know, I've done okay. I wish I could have done a heck of a lot better. That hasn't been the case, all right? But there are a lot of people who are in the same similar situation to me who can't do as well because of their color and because uh, of their minority status, because of their education, et cetera. But all Billy wants to say is, no, it's you, it's you, it's you. No fault of anyone else but you. You're the reason why you stay behind. Now, at the end, uh, he had a guy, uh, Bobby Bell, who played for the Kansas City Chiefs. I think I remember him playing. He went back and got his college degree. Bobby Bell is 74. I actually watched that thing. I don't usually like to watch too much else that Billy has to say. Uh, but I did notice there that there wasn't anything that Billy talked about or Mr. Bell talked about, about what that college education would do for him at 74, meaning what other type of job or what other type of opportunity might open up for him. It was something he wanted to do. It's something he neglected to do. He's something he finally got around doing. But I'm just making an assumption that after uh, Mr. Bell's career in football, that he had a fairly sex successful career after that. And that at this particular point in time, that uh, college degree itself is not necessarily going to open up any more doors for him. And remember, also, there are a lot of college educated kids out there right now who are educated, who have a degree, two year degree, four year degree, who are working minimum wage, who are working in industries not even remotely close to their to their um, major because they can't find the jobs that are available. This is what needs to be addressed. Not this stupid stuff about is the U.S. Un unfair. Yes, this U.S. is unfair. And the USA, the government needs to make the positive steps that are necessary to bring this down.